What is up everyone? My name is Roy and welcome to my channel. Today we're actually doing another ASOS haul. Now my first ASOS order a couple of months ago was pretty much a total disaster. So I kind of blame myself, but I also kind of blame the website because I put my attributes into their fit assistant properly and everything that I ordered was just giant. It was enormous. It was unwearable. It was unfixable. I had to send it all back. I went back in, I tweaked my measurements down below what they actually are. And it seems like now that now the stuff that I'm ordering is actually the right size. So now I have a lot more confidence in ordering these things online and making sure that I get the proper size. So that's what this video is about today. We're gonna do an unpacking, haul, and try on video of everything I purchased, uh, mostly for fall and winter this year. So first up is a black and white stripe crew neck regular fit t-shirt from Berska. Now I know what you're thinking that this is supposed to be a fall and winter clothing haul, yes, but I wear t-shirts all year round. So I like to layer things. So in the winter time, I will wear a t-shirt underneath of a button down, underneath of a denim jacket or an overshirt or some sort of jacket. So yes, I buy t-shirts all year round. They're super comfortable. The colors and the patterns are so easy to change and you can completely change the look of your outfit just by changing the t-shirt. So this, the size looks exactly right to me. I love the design, I love the simplicity of it. It is black and white, it might kind of read as navy blue. For some reason in the light, it kind of sometimes look like, looks like blue, but it is actually black and white, which is very nice because I don't have a black and white striped t-shirt in my uh, drawers. So this is something that I will probably wear a lot because black and white pretty much goes with everything. Next up and sticking with that t-shirt theme for the same reasons because I like to wear t-shirts all year round. This is 100% cotton. This is ASOS branded drop shoulders, obviously oversized t-shirt. I bought it this way, don't worry. But yeah, I can never have too many white, plain white t-shirts because it is a classic staple of your wardrobe and I don't particularly have one that is this shape. So with the crew neck and the oversized fit and the drop shoulders, this is gonna look great with a pair of jeans. Um, jeans are pretty much my everyday go-to and when I don't really feel like thinking too much about what I'm wearing, I wear jeans and a white t-shirt. Next up is a small logo French Connection sweater. It's got the small logo on the chest. This is a straight, you know, regular fit crew neck. Um, it is very lightweight. It's very, very soft. So I don't know if this is a wool or let's see. It is 100% acrylic. <laughs> so it's polyester, um, that's why it's so soft. So yeah, this is gonna be super soft. The downside of polyester is it's not gonna really breathe as well as cotton or some wools would. So I might sweat more in this than I would like. Looking at the size of this, this looks like it might be a tiny bit tight on me, but I don't think it's so tight that it's not going to fit. And this will be very nice if I decide to use this in one of my outfits that I wanna layer with a jacket or a denim shirt or something like that. So this is a really great navy blue. The logo is super subtle. I mean, you can barely, you can barely see it at all. And uh, if anything, I do have a shortage of sweaters in my closet. So um, I'm trying to pick up a couple of sweaters now and incorporating them into what I already have. Next up is, this is again, an ASOS branded sweater. Again, this is very, very soft, like that French Connection sweater this is this is merino wool merino wool so if you don't know what merino wool is it's actually a very very soft fine wool from merino sheep so it's very comfortable uh, as a wool to wear against the skin because it is very soft and the fibers are very thin and fine um, it's not scratchy at all so this this is very nice that you'll see a lot of sweaters are made out of this you do have to watch though with this type of fabric though and what you wanna get is a fabric shaver 
If you don't know what that is, just Google it or Amazon it. But with this type of material, as you wear it, as you're walking, as you have friction under your arms or by your sides or whatever, it will pile. You'll get those little tiny little balls on the fabric. And actually, I, can, I haven't even worn this yet and I can actually already see some forming on the inside. So I have a fabric shaver, so what you'll end up having to do with something like this is using that fabric shaver before you wear it just to get all those little balls off of the fabric. Looking at the size of this, this looks a little bit small to me and this is an extra large. And this looks a little bit small to me. There is a lot of stretch in this. Like I can see that it gives a lot, but I don't particularly like tight sweaters. This might be one that I might be sending back because it does look a little bit tight. And if it's so tight that you're seeing my chest or my stomach through it or whatever, I don't like that look at all. I don't think that's a good look at all. So if that's the case, I might be sending this one back. Next up is a pair of skinny fit French Connection jeans. I will say about this fabric, now there's like 2% spandex in the denim, which, you know, years and years ago, you never had spandex in denim. And so it was like, it was very, the fabric was very stiff. It wasn't very comfortable. It didn't give much at all. But nowadays when you can get spandex in denim, like one or 2%, it makes all the difference in the world in terms of the comfort of the jeans. So I was very happy when I saw these and I saw that they were one of those spandex blends and there is a tiny bit of stretch to them. You can see, they stretch. It's nice because when you look at them, it doesn't look like they're any different from any regular, you know, cotton denim. So the wash I like on these just because they're very, it's very plain. It's got a dropped crotch, so it's comfortable. I don't particularly like jeans that are super tight in my legs and my crotch. And the wash again is very simple and understated. It's not, I, I don't like jeans that are um, treated with a bunch of different, you know, paint and, and washes and sandpaper and all the crazy stuff they do to things to make it look, you know, worn or whatever design they're trying to achieve. I don't really like that too much. So when I find a good plain pair of just blue denim jeans, I go for it. And these look like they're gonna be very comfortable and they look like they're gonna be used quite a lot uh, in my rotations. Next up is another pair of jeans Again, these are a spandex blend for all the reasons that I just talked about. It's just a, more comfortable to wear when there's a slight give and a slight stretch to the fabric. These are ASOS branded jeans. They are a tapered fit. I don't usually like the super slim or skinny or definitely spray on type jeans. I don't like feeling constricted in my legs. So these are a nice tapered fit. They look like they're gonna fit me just right. I also like them because these are like a true black jean. So I have a couple of pair of black jeans, but they're really, you know, acid washed and, you know, an acid black or grays or different shades of black, but I don't have anything that's just a true flat black. And I think everybody needs to have in their wardrobe as one of those essentials that you should base your whole wardrobe around, you should have a pair of just plain black denim jeans. So that was a big hole uh, in my wardrobe that I did not have. And now that I have these, uh, I think I'm set. Last but not least is a navy blue sweatshirt from Adidas Original, one of my favorite brands. Similar to white t-shirts, I seem to never have enough sweatshirts. I love sweatshirts. Uh, I can lounge around in them around the apartment. I can run my errands in them. You can pretty much wear them anywhere at this point. You can actually dress sweatshirts up or dress them down. I didn't have a navy blue sweatshirt, so when I saw this on the website, I knew based on the brand that the quality was gonna be very nice. Uh, and this is, it's very, it's not lightweight. Um, it's not super heavyweight though. It's kind of like a medium weight. It is a fleece style sweatshirt. So the inside is sort of the roughed up side of the fabric. So the more I wash this and wear this, it's going to loosen up and soften up even more with a pair of blue jeans or whatever I want. It's a nice color blue. It's going to go with lots of things. And I know I'm going to wear it a lot this winter. That is it guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed some of the finds that I got. If you did, thank you. Please like and share this video with a friend. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel where I post lifestyle 
and advice videos all designed to be simple and help boost your happiness and your well-being. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. See you next time.